<laughs> so, so in my video yesterday, I I talked about morning pages and and free writing exercise. There's actually one thing I, I forgot to mention is that if you use loose leaf paper, which is the yellow pad I showed, you can actually just throw away what you write if you're worried about it being good or whatever. You just throw it away. So I wanted to add that because you don't necessarily have to leave a paper trail of all these journal entries. Today I wanted to talk about uh, why it's hard to to create stuff in general. And there's there's two components to this that I I think is I think is interesting to me. The first one is the idea of what is automatic. And that's part of what the free writing exercise is supposed to do is is teaching us about what comes automatically to us and hopefully we can transfer that automatic um, entunement is a, a good description transferring that over to our medium of choice if it's you know uh, music or art I always give those two examples but this it's for for whatever you you're working on it's not limited to those those two things by any means and and also um, you know people can work on these areas as a form of therapy as well so they so playing an instrument not necessarily a thing that people are doing so that they can uh, become a big concert uh, musician or make records you know there's a lot of use in just playing an instrument but there's a lot of in writing music too of your own there's a lot of barriers that get in the way which are, are mental so I was talking about the automatic thing and one of the the big areas that is automatic that we know of that you can easily put your your finger on is really what what addiction is and you know when I was younger cigarettes were a lot more popular they're they're continually being pushed to the the curb to the road smokers have a hard time being being um, comfortable I, I would imagine I, I can't speak for them but when I was younger you could smoke cigarettes um, in, in in like bars in probably restaurants too when my parents were younger people would smoke in universities and schools <laughs> and then um, the bathrooms had ashtrays in them movie theaters airplanes um, so there was a there were a lot of opportunities for it that simply don't exist and and what happens for a smoker is it's fairly automatic they they can just um, puff away cigarette after cigarette I was actually on a golf course last week and with paired up with someone I didn't know before with my dad and, and the guy was almost every other hole he had a cigarette lit up again it was like did the last one not um, do what it was supposed to do like it was uh, it, it was pretty interesting to see like he didn't need eight cigarettes or I don't know whatever how many he had in a round of golf which is really inconvenient because you have to keep um, pulling out your, your club and swinging you got to be on it and um, clearly it was it was a behavior that was coming from his subconscious it was not really a thing that he probably he clearly was not in control and the bigger thing that you know we think about about that compulsion um, think about how often we check our phones now like and I do it a lot myself um, would ideally ideally not um, you know ideally would check a few times a day 
we would hopefully check email um, a few times a day as well, but it's, it, it doesn't really work out that way. Or the news, check the news a lot. And so I, I wanted to just call attention to, to that, that um, we need to pay attention to these things that easily consume our attention that are not are not really our creative activity and they they can take hold pretty pretty quickly and and you can be left uh, without um, you will be pulled in the in the other direction and that's in the the phone is the other thing that that I think is funny about all this it's it's like it, it, what comes into your senses shapes the the world and the and the and how you're going to spend your time and in the it's not like we go into our phone and you you know you check in a social media feed it's not like you're seeing all the posts saying um make music, <laughs> close this phone, go over there and make music. Um, your Google News feed will most likely not um, show you anything encouraging in that, that regard as well. It's, it's a lot worse. And, you know, for some, sometimes for, for good reason too, that you, we need to, you know, find out what's going on. You know, it's been, quite a, a year and a half of, of a pandemic. Um, it's tempting to, to want to know, um, especially early on, it was, you know, really, you couldn't really take your eyes off of the news. And, um, but when that comes in all the time, because we're always on our phone and, and the information in the phone is not really enforcing what we maybe um, would like to be doing. So the, this is just some stuff to, to think about is maybe can you, can you change the content of what comes in on the phone? I, I, I honestly don't, some people would say, well, then you can follow um, accounts on social media that um, speak to your interests more. It, do, it, it doesn't really work that way, though, if you're still following, I don't know, friends or whatever. If, if friends are fine, but um, the feeds are going to show you more dramatic um, content at all costs. So you might get a mix of stuff that you're, you're interested in, but overall, the bias is towards, you know, if you have a close friend and, and something emotional happened to them and they, they post, um, and that's going to find its way into the algorithm more. So something that helped me is I, uh, I, I used to not really like uh, book summaries, but I found that um, Blinkist is uh, so Blinkist is an app that does uh, book summaries. I enjoy that putting that app on because it, it gives me an alternative to um, raising the quality of information. Um, if I find myself, you know, using the phone to, to go through a bunch of garbage apps, I mean, obviously I could remove those, but you need to learn how to to manage these things and, and not necessarily just remove everything. It, but I found that having better alternatives and my home screen on my phone is more geared, like there's um, there's a app called da Down Dog, which is a yoga, um, it, it generates a yoga routines. And I use that. So that's the type of app that would be on my, my home screen. And then if I want an apps that are more distracting, I have to kind of shuffle around. I don't really know where they are. I've sometimes put them into folders and just add a bit of resistance to um, 
finding those. So the, the, that's, that's sort of one part of it and just stuff to think about. And I think ideally you want to make it easy for you to, if you know that like a priority is say uh, working on music, like you might want to find a way to do that early in the day so that you've got it, it's sort of done and it's taken care of if, if, if that's how you, you quantify um, progress. And it's a pretty good way is spending, like your time is, is finite from what we know. I mean, we could, when we die, we might reincarnate or whatever, <laughs> but, in, but we don't really know that while we're here. So as far as we're concerned, we have a finite amount of time and so how you allocate each hour, an hour is a convenient um, unit of time. It, it's, it's really is a, is fictional though. It's created by humans as a way to, for everyone to be on the same page. But, and I actually find if I am going to work on, on music, um, something like 20 minutes, 30 minutes is, is feels more like a block. If I've done 30 minutes, of music I know quite a lot is done in that time especially when we we look at how distracting everything is getting 30 quality minutes of music in is is very nice but ideally you would you'd be able to get a, a bit more in and I've personally found that the morning was is very good if in you know if, if I say today I've done an hour of music it's a is a pretty good day because after that there's other a lot of other stuff to attend to um and and whatnot when i was younger i used to work on music late at night um that was a similar thing because no one was awake to distract but um i don't i don't i really don't recommend that i think I think it's, uh, I've personally come to appreciate going to bed as, as early as you can, um, making use of the morning. Yeah. Not staying up late is, is my preference, but yeah. So those are some, some things to think about why it's hard to create and start to think about, um, the information that that's coming in and, and changing that a bit and, and make adding a bit more resistance to the, to letting information in that that doesn't really uh, line up with with your goals.